What's up guys, it's your girl Fire here and I'm back in my studio setting. Today's video is going to be a review on the new Can't Stop Won't Stop NYX Cosmetics Foundation in collaboration with Alyssa Ashley. This is my first time trying this damn foundation hopefully it works because if not you guys already know i'm gonna take it back if you are interested in this video then stay to the end of it like comment subscribe before you leave and let's get started at the moment my skin is going through it um it is very irritable because i've been sick for the past week keep blowing into the tissue and all of that stuff the tissue is just around this area and it's been drying me out and just making me just break out and stuff so my skin isn't it's it's not pretty i'm hoping that this foundation can cover all of that up in the meantime because i've got something to do within the next hour or two on the website this foundation retails for $14.99 I got mine at Ulta it says that it is a full coverage foundation that is very comfortable wearable for about 24 hours I have here the color caramel and it is a more olive tone and we're just gonna do a pump and I'm gonna be using the expert face brush by real techniques I'm gonna be using that to apply instead of a beauty blender or should I use a beauty blender? No, I'm gonna use this brush. Let's go right into it and see this right here? This is my breakout right there. Let's see if that'll cover that. Ooh. Oh. Oh. See, I, I like it. Um, you gotta blend quick because it dries really fast. And it does remind me of the Maybelline Superstay. And Maybelline Superstay is about the same price, so it's not bad. If you don't like this one, you can try the Maybelline Superstay. But this is really matte. Um, see how it just blends right into my skin complexion? Yeah, looks really, really olive, but in person, it blends right into my neck so let's do the other side the color kind of reminds me of the wet and wild caramel that i have the photo focus foundation it reminds me of that exact color you see how it looks doesn't look totally funny, but it's really olive, but it weirdly matches in a weird way. So I'm gonna finish off the rest of my face and then I'm gonna come back like later on in the night after I'm done doing what I'm doing and i will show you guys the final look and just let you guys know how it held up throughout the night and how i feel about it trap trap money penny this shit got me in my feelings all right so it is officially the next day and um i forgot to film my review after i got done doing what i was doing but I wore the foundation for a good like four or five hours and here is some good things and here is some bad things. The pros of this foundation is that everything it claims on the website is true to a T. It is a very good foundation and I would buy it again. But here's the con. Here's what I don't like. I don't like how it dries too damn fast 
and if you so happen to let it dry down it's not going to move anywhere so that's going to cause you to have patchiness another thing that i want to say is that it's way too matte now i know some of you are like well what did you expect it does say that it is a matte foundation when we talk about matte I'm, I'm thinking like a comfortable mat. This is like a whole nother level type of mat because it is a 24 hour wear. Um, I'm guessing they put more of whatever that ingredient is, they put like a ass of it in there because this thing is drying. I wouldn't suggest anybody to use a matte primer with this. I wouldn't suggest anybody to set their face because it will it will feel very uncomfortable and it will feel like a mask. It reminds me of the L'Oreal Pro Matte Foundation. This is the most matte that I've ever, ever, ever had. Even the Fenty Pro is a lot more, um, it's matte, but it's a lot more comfortable and a lot more silky on the skin. I don't know how to explain it, but it's not as chunky, but it's very pliable and nice and comfortable on the skin with this one you could use this for like halloween and um creating different looks and creating different faces or you can use it for like anime like this is like cosplay type of foundation if you go and try to find your shade you better make sure that it is the right shade and the right undertone because it will expose you because it's so full coverage there's a lot of color so if you get a shade way too light then you're definitely going to see it out in the sunlight. I had to mix mine today to get it to look, you know, a bit more like this and less olive. When I applied it earlier, it looked it looked nice, but it was picking up a lot of green on camera. I mixed it with these two right here. I used about two dots of this and then um, one pump of this. Go ahead and do your face. Put a really nice hydrating concealer or hydrating foundation underneath your eyes and you're good to go. And as you can see, I don't have any creasage. There's all the coverage there and it just looks, it looks flawless, you know? Overall, it is a really good foundation. It is a really great buy. Congratulations to Alyssa Ashley for making such a great product and um, putting it out there for the women of color and just representing inclusivity and all of that stuff. But um, nevertheless, that is it for this video. I thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.